Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an catching system series. Now before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my project files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So what I'm going to start with is entering the hatch client script. And what I want to do is basically just to make it so that whenever you get close to an egg instead of just enabling and disabling the billboard gy we want that to be animated so so we need to add a nice clean uh twin animation and to do that it is very simple we just have to go here and create a function for that so local function um animate billboard and that will take the billboard that we want to animate and if it's true or false so if we want to animate it or not i mean if we want to close it or not so that will take um uh, open or close and what i'm going to do now is get tween service so local tween service is equal to and is equal to game can get service tween service now what i can do is right here check if open or close is equal equal to true then else so if it's set to true then we want to open the uh, billboard so tween service come on create and that will take the billboard and a tween info so tween info dot new and point five and then we want to uh, get the size so size is equal to and use him to dot new and now what i need you to do is select your template your template billboard and go to the size and check it out so it's five comma zero comma seven comma zero so we're gonna put that in here five comma zero comma five comma zero comma seven comma zero and now you can add a column play and then you want to copy this, put it here, and instead of uh, this size, we're going to change that to 0, 0. And now you can add a weight 1 in here. And we can just scroll down and go to the part where we uh, open and close our billboard. And instead of just enabling slash disabling it, we can just do... Before we do this, we can just do open, open... Or I think we call the animate billboards and that will take our our billboard and we're gonna do a false so we're gonna have to close it or actually just copy this and right here where we play the tween we're gonna wait 0.5 and do this and then we can add a wait 0.5 here and then you can do the opposite here so we're gonna enable the billboard first and do animate billboard billboard comma true and now if you play the game hopefully that should work oh i think we have inverted it so actually we did not that is weird so whenever we get close okay i think i get it now we will just copy this and put it here and now we don't have a reference for our billboard so let's just put this back and see what we had okay so it was billboard temp so billboard temp and now Okay, my PC just froze for some reason. And studio just crashed. Okay, it's back. So now you can see that we have a nice, smooth opening and closing animation, which is very nice. But as you can see, we need this to go faster so that we don't see these... Uh, weird lines and stuff so we just change this to 0.2 and 0.2 and 
end this to point three. And now if you play the game, that should work. So I can just do this and this looks very clean. But I need this to go a little bit faster. So point one, point one and point two here. And now we can go ahead and as you can see, that looks very nice. I really like that. But now we will need a uh, way to check if the player pressed a key. So to do that, we're gonna use user input service. It's very simple. Here in our services, we're gonna create a variable for UIS, which will be user input service. So game, go and get service user input service and after that we can just go here and in here I want to do something so right after this I want to have a local max or I mean local uh, nearest egg so nearest egg and we're gonna have that set to new and then we can have a local can hatch And that will be set to false by default. And now what we're going to have to do is just go right here. Okay, is there? Okay, never mind. I thought something was wrong with my recording. So what I want to do is go right here. And whenever we are near to an egg, when we open this billboard, we're going to do... Actually, before we even animate it, we will set nearest egg is equal to and billboard dot name or just yeah billboard dot name. And now when we that's pretty much it. Now we can just keep on printing the nearest egg. So right here, I'm going to add a print nearest egg. And as you can see, it prints nail, but if I get near, it says basic egg, and if I get far, it still prints basic egg. And we don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to go here and do nearest egg is equal to and nil. And now that should work, hopefully. So if I get close, it says basic, okay, that's weird. Now it starts printing nil, and if I just get close, it prints basic egg, nil, basic egg, okay. So that is not what we want. So we will just go here and put that. And now, hopefully that fixes it. And nope, it does not, so... I don't think that's a big problem. So I'm just going to remove this print print and set the nearest egg to the billboard name. And after that, we're gonna have to set the can hatch value to true. So can hatch is equal to true. Actually, let me try to do this before I even, uh, before I even, uh, animate the billboard and right here I'm going to do a print nearest tag and hopefully that works so now whenever I get close same thing happens but it's one second late so I'm just going to put this back and now what I can do is set the can hatch value to false when we can't hatch when we are far so i'm just going to put a can hatch is equal to false and now what i'm going to do is underneath this we'll do a uh, uis dot input began call and connect function and that we take the input so 
I'm just going to do this. And that will take the input, of course. We're going to do if input dot key code is equal equal to and it's going to be e or enum dot key code dot e then we will check if nearest egg is not equal to nil and can hatch is equal equal to true then and we're gonna print e else else print can not hatch and now if I press E cannot hatch and if I get near it, pr it prints E and if I just get far again it says cannot hatch and if I do this it says E great now that we have somewhat of a working system I think I'm going to show you guys how to disable the rotation because yesterday I found a comment that said how can I disable the rotation on the pets now I'm going to show you guys how to do that so it's I think it's very simple you can just change this value here so you can just change this to zero or maybe five and now if you play the game that should work you can just mess around with the c-frame because as you can see that just worked i'm going to change this to something like zero and see what will happen so that gives us the previous result so i'm going to put this back to six Six or five is the sweet spot for me. Actually, five, not six. I want to put this back to the rotation because I think it looks cooler. And by the way, if you want to make this faster, you can just multiply the tick by something like two. And that will make the pet spin two times faster. And yeah, that is pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!